here today to help activate the community to clean up the beaches around Christchurch, New Brighton, Littleton and Sumner and heading out to the surrounding beaches of each area. And our mission at Sustainable Coastlines is to enable people to look after the coastlines and waterways that we all love. We've been a partner for a couple of years now and these beach cleans are a big part of our sponsorship. A real opportunity to, to get out there and get our hands dirty so to speak. We know a lot of New Zealanders love their coast and they spend a lot of time at the beaches. And we hope that people take a, a really cool message of reducing, reusing and, and recycling when they get home and they can make small little changes each day to be better today than yesterday and better tomorrow than today. So we're going through the top layers of the sand and just picking up all the plastic that we can find. Those plastics, they are quite small. Animals think that they're food and they collect a lot of toxins. And then animals eat them, absorb those toxins, and especially fish. We've heard a lot about microplastics today and how they affect the fish. Just really trying to protect the wildlife, live a more sustainable life and teach our kids that you know it's really important to look after the earth that we live in. As you can see a massive pile of rubbish here behind us, that's just from say, the local beaches here and there's uh, two other ones, two other beach things happening today so uh, yeah just doing our bit to pick up as much rubbish as we can. A lot of single use plastics, a lot of fast food wrappers, all the stuff that you're grabbing, using once and then you're throwing away and even if you are throwing it in bins, it's blowing out. My sister found uh, a candle bottle and she also found um, um, some paper. So we're very grateful to have the support of Hirepool to enable this day to happen and also all of the community groups that have bring people out in mass. Uh, we've got Scouts here, Remix Plastic, the Stay in South Brighton, St. Margaret's College, um, some of the staff from Tonkin and Taylor. So it's a great way to have all kinds of people come together from different community groups to do some work all as one. Well.